What's up, y'all? This Trenton Henderson. You tuned into the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine power is always working for us because we're trying to do right. One month maximum focus challenges in full effect. And we focus right now. We very focus. We very fearless. Because when you're fearless, you don't have anything to worry about. But how do you become fearless? Well, first of all, you just got to just already know your worth. You got to know what you're good at, what you're capable of. And when you're operating and you're doing the things that you love to do, when you're always trying to make yourself better, other people's lives better, and the world a better place, you're going to automatically be in that life force. And y'all know what that life force is, right? Life force is that positive flow of energy that says you can do anything. See, a lot of people don't know. All they got to do is make make their mind focus maximum potential, maximum on anything that they want to accomplish, maximum, maximum focus on anything they want to accomplish, and it will happen. There's nothing in this world that can stop the power of God, and that same power is within you. That same power is within each and every last one of us, but it takes a person to just realize, you know what? I got that power because I always knew I had it, but you got to realize that you got it. You know, a lot of people ask me, Trent, how you make these videos every day, 24-7, 365, never stopping? Because I realized I got that power, and when I realized that that power is within me, I feel like nothing can stop me from doing what I love to do best, which is teaching, helping, motivating, and inspiring people like me like-minded individuals who think just like you and me you know so you never really supposed to think fearless thoughts and fearless thoughts are thoughts of i think i can make it happen i think i'll do it i'll try i mean i hate that people be like i'll try so basically you're saying that you don't know because you don't think that you have the potential to make it happen oh no 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 you doubt the fact that you will be able to accomplish it because of the outside world. Oh, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a try to make it work. I'm going to do this. I think I might be able to do that. I don't know, but I'm going to really just try my best to make it happen. Oh, oh, you really doubting yourself now? You got Sometimes you got to watch yourself on how you think about stuff. Because people ask you questions all through the day. You know, you're presented with circumstances choices and decisions that you have to make all through the day and these choices ask you hey are you powerful if so i have an offer for you i have an opportunity for you it's a grand central station opportunity it's just that you have to actually book the ticket to go there and to book the ticket you have to just go book the ticket like there's no stopping on delaying the ticket for you um we're not going to hold the seat for you because you're unaware if you want to go this plane is going to take off and this plane take off, it ain't coming back. It might be a different plane to come back in a different form. The circumstances, the situation might set itself up. And the opportunity might come in a different fashion. But it ain't going to be tomorrow. This plane is not returning tomorrow. No, not this one. Not this one. Not the first class. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to ride in a little small circumcised plane. You know, where your, where your legs are crunched in and you got like 18 people beside you. You can't ride this one. You got to wait. And that's what I'm saying. When you approach opportunities, take them. Take them, 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 take them. You know, so many people I see every day on a, on an everyday basis are so mentally programmed to just stay in poverty. So mentally programmed to just just stay in a mind of lack. Like they want to get out of the lack. They want to get out of the poverty-stricken state and, and not ever be abundant and grow. But they don't really want to because they're scared. They're afraid. They fear that massa, massa. Hey, hey, I got a, I got a, Harry Tubman was like, I got a secret passageway that everybody can run through. I don't know already escape 100 slaves through there already. You guys are chosen. Would you like to go with me tonight? Some of them was like, yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me, I'll go. Some of them was like, no, no, Matt's have been real good to me. He, he he's a, he's a, he's a let me come in the house and sweep the flow. Nah, uh, nah, we ain't, nah, nah, what, huh? I 
I'm going. Whether it's life or death, I'm going. You know what? At least tomorrow I will be living a better day. I'll be free. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you think fearlessly, man, it opens up the doors to all things. Like because you start to see that the illusions of this world start to fall off. And illusions are fear. I'm going to tell you something secret. Don't tell nobody. It's just between me and you. Fear is not real. Everything that you see in this world, danger, fear, um, lack, um, you know, just not right things, negativity, negative energy. It's all fear. Ghost. It's all fear. This is fear. It's fear that comes from within the God individual. The God individual is able to create into the universe. God said, let there be light. And there was light because he, he's God. The same spirit lives within us. So whatever we believe in our mind, like in a God, from God, from within us, when we believe it, it comes out and we see it like, wow, there's a ghost. I believe it were They existed. Wow. There's some money. I believed I wanted some money. Oh, my God. I really, really knew I was going to get it. Wow, there goes that husband I was looking for. I always knew that I had a husband somewhere. But you know, that person that never did believe fearlessly is never going to see that opportunity come. It's always going to be like half stat opportunities, you know, half dead people coming around you, taking up your energy, sucking up your energy, and all this and that. Got to think fearlessly. You got to think fearlessly because, like I said, everything else is an illusion. You have people around you that are full of fear, full of doubt, full of low self-esteem. And they will try to put that on you. And then you will feel it. And then it will make you shake a little bit. And it will make you think a little bit. And it will get you down a little bit. And your lip will start poking out. And then you'll be wondering, like, why is my lip poking out? They're, I'm stronger. Your conscience will be battling with you saying, you're stronger than them. Why are you listening to them? And then you start easing up. You'll be like, yeah, you're right. I am. Then you go back like, no, that's my best friend. Like, they really do see the best in me. And then you will be like, no, no. I This is me. Like, I'm happy bubbly. Yeah, yeah. Then you might get over it and you think about it a little bit later. You'll be like, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm just I just don't want to get in trouble. Oh, my God. Just don't want to get in trouble. And then you go back to your real self. You be like, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I can do this. I can do that. This is reality. Every day we face situations where we're around fear people. Fear people. People that are just scared of life. Scared to live their life. Just scared of the world. Scared of themselves. Scared of their very own potential and what they can achieve. Which is why half of the time when you see them, they ain't mounting to nothing. They have not became anything with their life. They don't, they're not a role model. They can't really prove to you anything about their accomplishments or nothing. They've achieved in this world. They've not made your themselves better so that they can make other people's lives better in the world a better place. So that's why I tell you, with everything in life, act as though you can do it all. When people say, what are you capable of? Say everything. So when you walk into a job, tell them I can do everything. When you walk into an interview, I can do everything. It just depends on where you put me at. I can do everything. You know why? Because everything can be learned. I'm a fast learner. That's what you should tell them. I'm a fast learner. So think fearlessly, guys. You, you'll win a lot of stuff. You'll get a lot of blessings. you get a lot of opportunities coming your way. You'll win a lot of men. You'll win a lot of women. You'll win a lot of favor and influence around your peers, around your coworkers, around anybody around you. you. You'll just win a lot of stuff that you never knew you could be or win simply because you just start to feel fearless. And like I said, fear is just an illusion. It's just an illusion. It's just a thought belief that comes from your mind. Everything is taking place in your mind. Fear takes place in your mind. You have to think about what's, what will be fearful in your mind before you see it happen out here. If you never think about nothing fearful in your mind, you're not going to see it out here. That's the trick. You are the God individual. And God lives within you. 
Thanks for watching this video. I'm Trenton Sanderson of the infamous Living Room Network. In the meantime, I'll see you next time. Peace.